All right, guys and girls, this will be a very brief review on grip. So top hand or left hand, uh, we're going to run the grip diagonally across the hand. So the grip's not going to be exactly uh, parallel to the base of the fingers. Top end of the club, just above the crease of the pinky. Low end, as you're looking down, is going to run across the first pad of the index finger. Okay, That's your basic configuration in your hand versus your fingers versus your palm. When we do this correctly, close the fingers. It's going to put whatever this is called, I'll call it the meat of the left hand, because um, it's not your thumb pad. Maybe you call it your palm pad. Uh, that's going to sit pretty much directly on top of the grip. And that's going to secure the grip inside your hand so that if you, um, even if you did extend your index finger and took your thumb off, the club would still be supported inside the hand. Okay. I'm just going to swing this around and show it to you from the front view. For most golfers, we're going to have probably what's called a three knuckle grip where you see uh, one, two, you can't see it from this camera angle, but I can see the third knuckle on my hand, my left hand. And you can see as I scroll through here, some people call this a V. Uh, not sure that's actually a V, but that's a crease. That's going to point generally in the direction of your right shoulder at address. I'm going to be showing a 10 finger or baseball grip here for this example. Um, I'm going to run the club pretty much the same angle as I did with the top hand. It's going to slide that hand down until the thumb rests inside or underneath the thumb pad of the right hand. Okay. If you want a fairly neutral right hand, this crease would point generally in the direction of your chin. Again, I'm showing three knuckles here. <clears throat> if you played a lot of baseball or softball, you guys generally, from what I've seen, deliver the top of the hand faces the sky and the left hand and the right palm faces up, which works great in baseball. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with golf because the face is closed, or sorry, open, or point at the sky. We're trying to hit the ball this way. So instead of <clears throat> trying to rotate the face over to square the club face, we're going to have to use a stronger or more turn to the right grip, at least initially. So now when I put this club down, You'll see now this V points also at the right shoulder for the right hand. Okay, That won't apply to everyone, but if you're having trouble getting the face squared impact, the face is open, the balls are going to the right, you should definitely try this last configuration of the right hand. Okay.